वेलकम टू अपटेंडिंग शेयर्स एंड इन दिस एडिशन फ्रेंड्स वी विल बी टॉकिंग ऑफ एक्स फैक्टर इन द मूविंग एवरेजेस फ्रेंड्स मूविंग एवरेज आई टेल यू वन थिंग आई हैव टोल्ड यू अर्लियर ऑल्सो दैट इन द शेयर मार्केट नथिंग इज पॉसिबल नो ट्रेडिंग इज पॉसिबल विदाउट मूविंग एवरेज इन अवर प्रीवियस वीडियो of moving average friends we had seen that the moving average is always right because it is a lagging indicator moving moving average always gives correct mind my words correct buy and sell signal moving average is 95% correct and in moving average what you have to know are you remembering what did I, what did i tell you in my previous video yes you got it right you have to see the slope of the moving average without seeing the slope all our analysis or trading is likely to go wrong fine so friends let us check on the x factor in the moving average but before going further friends please subscribe the uh but uh, please subscribe the channel and if you like the video then please give your comments and press the like button okay so friends let's continue with it here actually i have taken this is a chart here i have drawn the prices you can see here and i have taken only one moving average this one moving average black line this is simple moving average of 5 okay now the condition is that the share must be strong fundamentally number 1 and it should be in the uptrend friends let me tell you it is not possible to earn money in the cash market if the share is in the downtrend and you are intending to buy therefore please always ensure that the share is in the uptrend and it is fundamentally a strong share now as i said it gives accurate buy and sell signal moment this price line cuts the moving average of 5 this gives a buy signal there is uh, actually no confusion in this and the moment this touches here this is a sell signal this is buy and this is sell so simple it is now in other words you can say this is the buying price or the support level and this is the resistance level friends you know once the moving average is sorry once the price cuts the moving average please exit because as we had seen earlier also supposing this is the wrist watch right now as we have seen earlier also see this is 10 minutes this is 15 minutes and this is 0 min uh, 5 minutes 10 minutes and this is 15 minutes in a wrist watch okay now you have put moving average of 5 now when you put moving average of 5 there is a momentum and when the momentum is over it falls down to moving average of 10 and when the momentum further decreases this same actually comes here therefore friends what you need uh, need to understand that any share if the stronger is the momentum more it is the mo uh, movement of the trend or the slope towards the zero line 
when the movement starts decreasing this uh, price line or the slope also starts decreasing you can see here you make this much money and at the slope of 10 and at the slope of 5 you make this much money <clears throat> now see what happens very interesting you see it is the nature of a trader he thinks the share price will go up share price will go up share price will go up but it does not happen that way uh, 8 out of 10 times <coughs> as the momentum is lost it starts falling and still it will go down what is you are doing is if you are not exiting here you are actually losing this much of profit and if you do not sell it here everything is gone so the asking is buy at the right time and sell at the right time which it, which is actually shown here so finally if i was to conclude when the price line crosses the or when the moving average crosses the five DMA from below, buy, and when there is a cut here, you sell. How simple it is! That's what I say is the excitement. We want to have all the information which is there in the share market, right? There is ocean of information in the share market. Even about the moving averages, people have done hundreds of research papers. There are no use. The final is here only, it comes here only, back to the square one, that is buy here and sell here. Now we see this is a single moving average. Now here we see two moving average. And these moving averages are simple moving average of 5 and simple moving average of 10. Here actually what happens is, this is below one is, uh, the share is in uptrend. There is no uh, compromise on this. Share is, strong share is in the uptrend. Now, you buy here at this crossover, you buy here <coughs> and at this crossover you sell. So this is your buy and this is your sell. Again, don't ever think that this will go up. It can go up if the good news comes, but 8 out of 10 times it will fall and you can see it is falling and it, like this it is falling. Are we clear on this? Therefore friends, I always say that moving averages, they are always right because it is a lagging indicator. The price has already performed yesterday. It is recorded. It is not the future which can go wrong. It is the past prices. So this is uh, correct always. Now let us come down to the third. That means three moving averages. What is this three moving averages? Here we have five. Here we have ten. And below we have forty. Forty days moving average. Now this forty days moving average, friends, it is not for trading at all. X factor, this this I call it. Right? Rarely you will find in the books. I had read about two years back in some research papers, and that is what I am uh, the, the I am showing you here. This is not my research, and it is a wonderful research. This is a reference line. <clears throat> now. As we have done here, buy here, sell here, here you buy. This crossover you sell, <coughs> again this crossover you buy and now this is continuous. <coughs> Sorry, just excuse me. So friends, this 40 is not for trading but reference 
reference moving average and this is actually I call it the X factor which normally you, you don't find anywhere let's come back and check what we have said moving average is always right moving average is 95% correct moving averages give buy and sell, sell signal buy when the price crosses moving average of 5 and if, if you are dealing with a single moving moving average here price and moving average crossover here price and moving average crossover number one if you are using two crossover of the moving average here and crossover of the moving average here it is the price and because because it is only one so it is the price line and here it is the moving average of 5 and 10 here th <coughs> thing is the same lower buy <coughs> lower cross you buy upper cross you sell lower cross you buy and continue and this 40 moving average is not for trading but it is a reference moving average so friends i am very thankful to you that you are uh, you have uh, checked uh, full video please give me your uh, comments how do you like the video and i must tell you that this video is a part you simultaneously see the second part of the video and that too together. Friends, thank you very much and uh, have a nice day. Remain in share market, earn tons of money. Thank you.